I think those of us that have looked closely at this concept of park closures have begun to understand that it's just a terrible idea that will not save the state money, that can't be implemented, that's legally flawed. I'm Elizabeth Goldstein. I'm the president of the California State Parks Foundation, and we're here because uh, there's a proposal to close 70 state parks. The state does not understand the implications of what they're doing here. I think the um, legislature in Sacramento is simply looking at numbers overall and looking at, well, we can cut this much here and we'll cut this much here. Are you going to pull the gate close? Are, are you going to pull a big tarp over the whole thing? You're going to put up a 10-foot, you know, barbed wire fence? You know, people are going to be in there and there would be nobody maintaining it. Right now I'm the only one left. I'm the only one, essentially, doing the day-to-day -day operation for a 5,000-acre park. I'm constantly being asked to go to other parks to help out for different operations and stuff, so we, that's kind of the norm because we've been short-staffed for so long. The state simply cannot walk away from this park and do nothing. Now that's, that's a recipe for disaster. Fires. Graffiti. Uh, vandalism. Obviously illegal dumping. No one will be around to make sure it doesn't happen. So a lot of citizens have worked to build this back as a, a monument to the beginning of California. But if it is left unsupervised and unopened, it doesn't take very many vandals to really ruin the work of 50 years. You don't see the Milky Way down in the cities anymore. It's gone. And here to see the Milky Way and just, you know, to, to feel that vault there that we've lost um, in the cities, it's a special experience. a big mess in the world. There's enormous imbalances that we're going to get sorted out somehow and it won't be pretty.